Rafael Romo, CNN Atlanta. All right, let's bring in CNN contributor and host of, um, of there he is, <laughs> Father Beck, Father Edward Beck. Uh, you've, you've heard what he, what he said there in that piece and how it looks as though uh, in Buenos Aires, maybe there was a, a, a softer position um, from, from Pope Francis at the time. How is this going to indicate how he might lead in, in Rome? Well, as you heard, 2010, they're at a bishop's meeting. He's the head of the conference, right? And same-sex marriage looks like it's going to pass in Argentina. So as a man of compromise, he said, I think we should come out and support same-sex unions. It would get us out of having to support same-sex marriage. They all voted him down. So really, he was the head of the conference. It was the first time in six years that the bishops went against something that he was proposing. But what it says to me is, this is a man of moderation, of compromise, and someone who is lobbying for human rights, basic human rights. And Richard, a savvy politician. Richard, perhaps? what does it say to you? You've just written a, a piece in the NewYorker.com uh, about the Pope and the issue uh, of gay rights. Well, I think, you know, if it's true that he did this, and I think um, people aren't, you know, he's not, no one's denying it, it shows that he may be a very clever politician. But the truth is, is that uh, when this issue was before the government, uh, he very aggressively opposed equality, very aggressively opposed equal marriage rights uh, for, for gays and lesbians in Argentina. So, um, you know, if it, it may say that he is a better politician and maybe may, he may be someone who's open to compromise, it may be a good sign, but the truth is, is that you know, on the issue publicly, he was, you know, not where they, not where Catholics are. But why politician? Why not someone championing human rights? Not able to change the church's stance on gay marriage, because marriage between a man and a woman is the church position, needs to be open to procreation. That's constitutive of the church teaching with regard to marriage. Procreation has to be part of it. So well, why politician and not saying, but if we can't do that, I want equal human rights for everyone. He's been shown to do that with the poor and everyone else. Why not with gay people? Well, you know, I think that if he, if he in fact, becomes a champion of human rights, that would be fantastic and is. terrific. Uh, well, in this issue, but I mean, I think the problem with the church teaching on this issue is, right, is they see, the, the Catholic Church has historically seen marriage as a religious uh, ceremony as a religious institution, but the truth is, is in, in countries like the United States and in Argentina, marriage is a civil issue. It's a civil law issue. It has nothing to do with religion. And so, you know, that's where we have the fundamental disagreement. Which maybe is part of the problem, right? I think everybody should be able to be married civilly, perhaps, but only some then have religious ceremony. If you want to be married well, in a we'll Catholic church, that. I mean, that's you're all, Catholic. Yeah, that's all, that's all uh, gay rights activists mm -hmm. want. I mean, all we want is civil marriage. We don't want to be married in, any, in anyone's but church. But it's marriage, though. Marriage for us has a connotation of sacramental religious. That's the distinction. Well, listen, if the Catholic church was willing to come forward and say that they support um, full civil rights, full equal rights for same-sex partners, with the one exception that they don't want it to be called marriage in the church, we take it. it. That would be fantastic. Like that's exactly what he was uh, doing? You know, I, I, he, they ha he hasn't said that publicly. There's, this is, you know, perhaps he said it privately, but then he went out and said something. in the bishop's something. conference meeting, though. Others were there. Do you there. think he'll ultimately be a reformer on this issue from Rome? I do not know. Popes don't always maintain the same positions that they maintained when they were cardinals or archbishops. Well, it's a different prism that, that they're doing everything through, right? The, the prism of Archbishop of Buenos Aires is very different than prism of Pope. And a smaller group of people and different concerns than 1.2 billion throughout the world. And so the legislation is going to be a little bit different, perhaps. Cam? Yeah. Well, ultimately, I think we just believe in separation of church and state and equal rights. And I don't want a religious leader telling me who to deny rights to in my country. All right, guys. Well, listen, I would say that if this is true, it could be a very positive development. I mean, I don't mean to, I don't want to suggest that it's, that uh, I'm somehow negative on it. I mean, if the Pope is, if the new Pope is willing to be a compromiser on this and try to find some common ground, I think it's a very positive development. We're going to leave it right there. Thanks, guys. And we're going to listen to what the Pope says about this for sure in the coming days and weeks ahead. Coming up